I think we have a PowerPoint um, to put up on the screen. I believe Joe is going to set that up. I have okay. it. One second, I'm trying to pull up oh. the PowerPoint. And basically the first slide just talks about how we reopened the museum um, back in July. And um, we hired a consulting firm that has advised us on all the highest safety protocols and the cleaning protocols and standards that we have met since um, we've reopened. Um, and we only allow 50 visitors per each half hour to come to the museum to make sure that people are properly social distance um, and they reserve their tickets online. And one of the things we do when they first get into the building is we do a temperature check to make sure um, that they meet that requirement. And we've kind of redesigned the museum so people flow in one way and they enter the building at Farnsworth, but they don't leave at the same access point to make sure that people are cross-pollinating as much as they used to. Um, and we do the same thing with our galleries. Um, and it's really an amazing time to be at the museum because you do get to see these things without the huge crowds that used to happen. Um, obviously we hope to get back to that point, but it is a unique opportunity to come to the museum and reflect and have the opportunity to have some of the galleries sometimes all by yourself. Um, and we are really proud that um, we were able to reopen the museum. We're committed to keeping that open as long as possible. And we have our new hours um, that we have um, that are Wednesday through Sunday. And we encourage you to come down to the museum and see the great collection that has always been there. Um, and Salvador will talk a little bit about the um, special exhibitions that we have going that are really targeted to residents of Wayne County and Metro Detroit and Michigan that have a uh, historical value to them. And so to our next slide, we'll talk about our school program. Obviously, we're not allowed to um, bring school children down, which was probably our, you know, our most popular program that we did. Um, before COVID last year, we brought over 40,000 Wayne County res or students down to the museum, 20,000 from the city of Detroit. And, you know, we had to kind of reinvent ourselves. And now we're working on virtual field trips, um, kits for schools, um, different workshops uh, for teachers and professional development. And obviously, these are things that we can use as an additional asset once we get out of COVID. Um, but we do hope to get back once the vaccine hits, you know, hopefully next fall to a normal program where we bring students down to the museum um, and they have an opportunity to get tours and to see an amazing collection that provides free admission and free transportation. And as I talked about, we do have virtual workshops that, um, that we have um, developed in our education and uh, learning and audience engagement departments, um, refresh, restore, revitalize our VTS strategies. Um, we have um, our Detroit style and the Afrenda exhibition, which is always very popular, um, along with a few other things. And you know, we have partnership programs with Detroit Public School Community District for our cultural passport program and workshops for one of our oldest and best programs, the Student Art Show um, in Detroit Public Schools, as well as um, we're working with the uh, Wayne Risa for aspiring uh, administrators. And these things are all virtual, they are all free, and they're all intended to increase um, and help teachers during this difficult time providing curriculum and providing programming free of cost. Obviously, we used to uh, bring seniors down for anybody who wanted to come down every Thursday and have a tour um, and have a cookie reception. Um, and we would provide that transportation and that programming um, every Thursday at 1 p.m. But now we've reinvented that into a virtual program. And obviously, um, you can catch that online every Thursday at 1 p.m. But we also do have those videotapes so you can watch them. Um, at your convenience. We continue to do behind the scene art <laughs> that are virtual. And um, we have a senior art kit pilot program that we're exploring where we'll send out an art kit to um, seniors and senior centers and allow them to have an activity um, that's related to uh, the Detroit Institute of Arts. 
Last but not least is our community partnership program. And one of the biggest things and longest standing programs we have is Inside Out, which are the reproductions we put out in the local community. Um, we find community partners, we work with them. They pick out the artwork that um, they think reflects uh, the diversity, inclusiveness of their community. And we're proud that we've done that this year. And we're going obviously to do that in 2021. And the Art Authority uh, approved a program plan, uh, I believe last week or a few weeks ago. Um, but this is a really robust program. And it's one of the things we can do during social distancing is go out to the community and do this and put public art and mural projects out in local uh, municipalities where people can walk by and really um, have this for generations to come. And so obviously we have a ton of partners in Wayne County, um, but just to highlight a few of them on the next slide, Um, we have a three-year agreement with the Wayne County Community um, College District and all those great institutions and more um, that are on the screen. And um, after the meeting, we'll send all the commissioners a one-pager to the benefits that you have for the DIA now in a virtual world. And we'll have the direct links that you can actually click on and get this programming without having to go through the entire website to find it. And what we'd encourage you to do is pass this out through your networks and your community and your constituencies. So they understand that, you know, they're still getting a value at the DIA millage, um, even in a COVID world. And so these are great benefits that we have at the museum. And I think this is the first time that we were able to come out here and give a presentation um, after our re-election millage, but we're proud that every single community in Wayne County, every single municipality voted in favor of the renewal of the millage. And we wanna thank you for your support over the years and for your ability to allow us to come and present and you know, talk about the great programming that we have and get your advice on how we can do better. And so with that, I will turn this presentation over to my boss, uh, the CEO and director of the museum, uh, Salvador Salort Pons. All right, thank you, Mr. Flynn. Thank you, thank you, Dave. And uh, thanks to the commission to allow us to uh, present today. And I uh, just wanna join uh, in the words that uh, uh, Dave shared with you. We're very grateful for the opportunity and also we're very very grateful to Wayne County for the renewal of, of the millage this year. And we look forward to continue working with you. We have a great team in place and uh, I think um, our programs are gonna get better and better um, in the upcoming months. Uh, one of the programs that we offer and we offer for free for the residents of Wayne County, it's our exhibition program. And uh, we have right now a wonderful exhibition on view, Detroit style car design in the Motor City, 1950, 2020, that really tells the story of car design in Detroit. We have 12 cars in the building. Some of them were prototypes, others are cars made for the market. And we tell the story of car design in America. Detroit was the city that invented car design. Detroit is the city that put the world on wheels and we wanted to to tell that story to, to the entire community. So it's a great show, it's very beautiful. It comes with a, an amazing, amazing catalog. Uh, it, the exhibition has received a wonderful coverage in all the local media outlets and also nationally with a very important article in the New York Times. And the Wall Street Journal um, selected the exhibition catalog, catalogs as one of the 20 recommended gifts for, for this uh, season. The other exhibition that we have uh, open now, it is Russ Marshall, Detroit Photographs. This is a photographer who from Pennsylvania who came to Detroit uh, several times and then in the 1970s, he was uh, taking photos of the um, uh, festivals in the summer and also the people who were there and the auto workers. So it's just a, a beautiful collection of black and white photos of the people who made the cars that we show in the car design exhibition. Very, very beautiful show. I think it would resonate very well with uh, the residents of, of Wayne County. Many of them have family or friends or know of people who were involved or are involved with the automotive industry which is the greatest contribution that Detroit has provided to, the, to humankind. Thank you, next slide. 
And finally, we will be opening this exhibition, uh, Temporary Contemporary, at the beginning of uh, 2021. It's an exhibition that has been put together by our Deputy Director, uh, Judith Dolcart, who is on the call and who you will be seeing them, her a lot in the upcoming years. She's gonna be uh, really running our education and curatorial and public programs. And uh, this exhibition tells the story of the works of art in contemporary art that the museum has been acquiring for the community. Uh, we are very fortunate at the DIA to have funds restricted for acquisitions. These are placed in the endowment for acquisitions that we can only use to buy uh, works of art. And we continue to um, enlarge and enrich our collection for, for the benefit of the residents of, of Wake County. All of these exhibitions will be uh, free for all the residents. And I just wanna say that uh, the uh, service agreement, the millage really provides um, wonderful support for our school senior community partnership program plus free admission. But all the work that we do in exhibitions, we need to raise the money for. And for these two exhibitions, we raised almost $2 million and that allow us to provide it for free to the residents of, of Wayne County. And with that, uh, I'd like to open the floor for any questions that